say it's your boy. 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 <laughs> Hi guys, it is Tiffany Elizabeth and I am back with another video. Um, in today's video, I am going to be taking you guys on a tour of my tiny studio apartment. As a lot of you guys know, a few months back, I moved into this apartment out of my parents' house and I did record like a life update video um, talking about me moving into this apartment. I do have a five-year-old son named Julius that I live with, so it's me and him who live in this apartment. At the time that I moved into this apartment, I was doing it with the intentions of saving money. Right now, I can literally pay my rent, I can pay my car note, and I can still like do things like get my nails done, get my hair done, go shopping, go out of town. I can still do all that living here because I basically downsized. The more that you have is like the more costly that it gets. So I felt like, I felt like by, um, you know downsizing where I live and everything I would be able to save and living here helps me save like I can literally move out of here and move right into a house like I told you guys my ultimate ultimate goal right now is to be in a house I don't want to move out of this apartment to move into another apartment um, I'm not gonna move out of here to move into a apartment with more bedrooms or something more luxurious I want to move out of here into a house. So me living here is allowing me to stack my money to be able to move into a house. So living here, I really, really had to put, I had to get really, really creative here because with me living in such a small space, especially with my son, and then I am a 24 year old woman. So sometimes I might want to have company over and, you know, be able to entertain my friends and stuff like that. So. I feel like with me living in such a small space, I think I did a great, amazing job of making this place feel as homey as possible. Like I still have everything that you would get in a regular size apartment. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys on the tour and I hope you enjoy this video. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. So where you guys just saw me come in at, this is my front door. And behind my door, I have just kind of this mirror sitting right here because I had it before I moved into this apartment, but I just um, didn't have anywhere to really put it in here. Plus it's a really heavy mirror. So I just kind of left it behind my door just in case I do need it. And it fits pretty fine just back here. So it's really dirty right now. I should have cleaned it first, but it just that's where it stays for right now so this is my little front door and then over here is my window and this is my least favorite thing about this apartment um this ac unit slash heat unit um it's just in the way bulky and it's just but it's whatever just deal with it it's there um, over here beside my door, I have this like little stand thing and it's just kind of like if you come in and you want to set your phone down real fast or set something down, it's just like right there to your convenience. Underneath, I have these blankets that are just like kind of right there because I didn't have anywhere to put them. And then when you, let me back up a little bit so you can get kind of like the full view. So here where my son is sitting this is where um he like eats his food and stuff like that and kind of just like chills on his game if he needs to charge his phone or his game he can kind of just hang out right here um why did a creeper i have this little like okay, i don't know what you call that place. i forgot what it's called but i just kind of have that there i want it to appear to, as like a dining area or whatever you want to call that 
I really, really like this because it's super convenient. It has storage um, right here. So we have our DVDs, games. Um, my son likes to color, so I let him keep like all his little coloring stuff right here. Um, I have more blankets and then on the side I have my little Wi-Fi box and then I just have like this plant right here. So again, that's what that looks like. Up above this I have my little um like my little pictures of from when I was pregnant with him, me and Julius, and then Julius and his dad. And then over here I have Julius when he was one. Oh. That's what that looks like. And then coming over here, this is my favorite thing. The um in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. And it's just like I don't know, I just really, really like that. It, I feel like it ties everything in really well. Um, there's my TV. Underneath my TV, I have a DVD player um, slash HDMI, whatever, whatever. Toy. Um, on my TV, I just have this candle right here. Um, I have this light right here. There are plugs behind the TV, so like I can plug everything up. And then underneath oh. here is my son's toys, which it keeps, I love this so much. I got it from Walmart. I really like this because it just keeps everything organized and um, it's a lot of storage so he can actually store more toys and keep everything just organized. So it's really nice to have this and it fits perfectly in the spot where I have it. So it's just convenient. As y'all can see, I've tried to keep like a neutral look to this apartment. Also, I wanted to um, add like lots of color and tie just everything in together so that way it doesn't look dull. I wanted it to look as homey as possible. So like I just added like greens and you know reds and yellows and stuff like that to just give it more color. So that's what I have here. Coming down is this like ottoman thing and it's just for like if i have company over they have somewhere to sit or if i want to put my feet up or something i can still kind of do that and plus with me living in a small studio apartment this acts as like a divider between what my living space is considered it just divides this area from like where my bedroom area which i'm going to show you guys in just a second this is my couch, which fits perfectly in this spot because with me living in a tiny studio apartment, you want to have, you want to utilize the space that you have as much as possible. So this couch is just the right size to be able to seat a few people, but it's also nice and small. This couch is multi-purpose. It pulls out into a bed. So if I wanted to push this couch a little bit back, I could push my couch back and pull it out into a bed if I have like company over. So this is my front door and you basically walk straight into my living room slash dining area. So I'm going to kind of back up into my kitchen so that I can show you guys like just the full overview of what it looks like all right so when you come over to this side this is the bedroom <laughs> um I have a queen size bed which I needed because with me living in a studio apartment I do need a bed big enough to fit two people so I wanted to stick with the queen size bed um one thing that has made living here amazing is the fact that my bed is multi-purpose it has drawers going all the way around so I have Julius's stuff in here and then as y'all can see when you come around there are drawers here for me to put my things um and these are like literally like four different ooh, four different drawers here and then as you go around more I have drawers here and there's just enough space in between 
for me to be able to pull my drawers out and get in and out of them. So I really like that. It fits perfectly. Um, I have a plug over here. And then I just kind of have this lamp right here to brighten up the room when it's dark. And also this lamp, it just fits perfectly in this spot. So I really had fun um, putting the ideas all together. Okay, so on my bed, I have more drawers here to put more things. I just kind of keep my like notebooks, pens, uh, chargers, headphones, stuff like that. I kind of just keep in there. And then I don't even need a dresser because my bed is basically a dresser as well. So I can put stuff up here. I just have like Bibles, all my little lotions and stuff like that. Um, let me come over here. Please disregard that. I was doing laundry, so I just like sat that right there for now until I put it away. Um, I just have like fitted sheets and stuff right here, kind of random, but I didn't have anywhere else to put them, so I just kind of put them right there, which is fine. And then I have my jewelry in that. So this is what my bedroom this would be considered my bedroom. Yeah. This is pretty much what you see as soon as you enter. So, I needed a place to be able to sit and record and, um, you know, put my purse and stuff like that. So I got this little table. I actually found this little table at Goodwill and it fits perfectly in this little spot. It is tight, which obviously it's going to be tight because I live in a studio, but, um, it's just enough space for me to be able to, you know what I mean? It's functional. So as long as it's functional, I'm happy. Um, this stool, I just kind of keep it under here to utilize my space. And I have my makeup in here. I have a mirror here and it is a double sided mirror. So if I want to do my makeup or take, Ooh, take pictures i got this clock for christmas from um my son's dad's sister so i just kind of kept it right there which i think it ties in perfectly and then i have my little plant right here which i love in my purse also this table has shelves right here so i just kind of keep my iron there because i didn't have anywhere else to put it and this is my um, tripod and when I have like my laptop and stuff like that I set it over here also all right so I'm gonna step back a little and then um, up here I just have another picture that says when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe then you'll be successful and it's just a little motivation for when I wake up in the mornings it's the first thing I see and I have this which I put all this up myself. So I'm gonna step back. I'm back like into the corner in between where my bed is at and I'm gonna give y'all like the full view. talk about what I have going on right here with these curtains you guys I created this myself and it was literally so freaking stressful and hard to do like I came up with the idea myself I put it all up by myself how did I do it I don't know but I made it happen because I needed a little bit of privacy in here I mean I am a young woman with a young son so I needed some form of divider and these curtains that I put up act as a divider. I am going to um, set them up off camera so I can show you guys the purpose that they serve. And this honestly has made living here so much better because I have a little bit more privacy with, um, with creating 
these and I think it's actually pretty cute. It looks kind of like a canopy to me. So all I did was just slide the two curtains together and then I pinned them together so that it will stay. And um, these curtains are really lightweight so it doesn't like weigh the um the line down too much so it's it works pretty good so this is what it looks like when it is up and um you know at night if i have company or something and my son's sleeping i can have him sleeping over there and i can entertain my company over here so it's really really nice to be able to divide um the bedroom from the living room and i can easily just um let me get a little bit closer and I easily just, you know, and this is what it looks like from the outside. So you really can't see much into the living room from over here, which I really like that, especially at nighttime. So this has been a huge lifesaver having this curtain here. take you guys over into my kitchen so right here I just keep my um, dish rack and I have like a dish mat to protect whatever I have underneath here so it works like perfectly I think I got this rack thing from I think it was Target if not Target then probably Walmart but the majority of the things that you see in this apartment are from Walmart Target and um, Gabe's so, all right, back on topic. So this is just my little rack and it fits perfectly in this spot right here, as y'all can see. It's just a great multi-purpose um, stand. So I can put my dishes after I wash them right here. Under here, I just kind of keep like, you know, the bulky things like my vegetable oil, vinegar, noodles, stuff like that. And then on top of here, I have my microwave. This helps me utilize as much space as possible. So I really like that. There's a plug behind my bed. So I'm able to plug up my microwave. And then I have just like this little picture that fits perfectly right here. Love the colors in it and everything. And I got it from my sister-in-law. And that's just, just wine. Okay, so coming over here. This is my kitchen and I have a really, really small sink, but it works for me and my son. I'm able to do what I need to do. Um, this is my candle wax burner that I got for Christmas for my mom. And I really, really like this because I can just turn it on and it makes my apartment smell good. And it's just super cute. I keep my like little chopping board back there and then like any little utensils that I might have. I have like very, very, very limited counter space, which I really hate. But like I said, it gets the job done, guys. Like I can still prepare a meal. I can still do pretty much everything that you would do in a regular full size kitchen. Um, I still have four burners. These pots are actually clean. I just washed them. They're just chilling right here until... I put them away um, I have a oven and it's a small oven but it's an oven you know what I'm saying? so I keep snacks in that drawer utensils in that drawer random junk like scissors pens stuff like that and then in this very bottom drawer I keep like my trash bags and stuff like that if you look up here I have more cabinet area so in here, I just keep like seasonings on one side. Um, I keep like all my important papers and stuff like that on the top part, which I think works perfectly fine for me. And then over here, I keep like my canned goods, dry food, stuff like that. So y'all, it works. Like it really just works. Um, over here, this is my fridge. And it's pretty much a normal size fridge. Like I got the freezer up here and then the fridge right here. And then above it, I keep my plates, cups, 
their shot glasses back there and then on that side I just have more pots so I have pots right there I have pots over there I have place for my seasonings and just stuff like that I keep my trash can kind of just chilling over here because it just fits right there and there's nowhere else to really put it so I feel like that works I take out my trash very very often because for some reason I just don't like the idea that my trash is sitting right near my closet but like I said I take the trash out often so it doesn't like smell or anything like that in the apartment so yeah and that's just my mats <laughs> Like a broom. All right, so moving along. When you come over here on this side, you have the bathroom. I'm gonna just turn the light on. So please excuse that my son was brushing his teeth, but I have like a little hand towel that I can keep right here. Um, and this is my like bathroom fan. I have this on my counter. So. I, for this to be such a small studio apartment, I have like a lot of, it's a decent sized space guys. Like it's not even that bad. So like I have counter space right here and I just kind of keep like bath bombs, masks, stuff like that in here. Lotion, um, hand soap, and then me and my son's like toothbrushes and stuff like that go here. Underneath the sink, I have even more storage. So I just store like my cleaning supplies in there. And then I have like a little stepping stool that I keep under there and it's out the way. And then right here, I just have like my shower. I do have a full size shower and bathtub so I can still like take baths and stuff like that. I have even more storage in here because this mirror opens up and I can like put things in here. Um, the weirdest freaking thing about this apartment is where the freaking plug is for my bathroom. It is up here. It took me three months, guys. It took me three months to find this plug, to discover this plug, which is crazy, but I'm glad I did find it because I was like, yo, why is there not a freaking outlet in the bathroom but that's where the plug is which is super weird but if I need to like use a plug I just kind of use the, like if, for example if I'm straightening my hair or something like that I can easily just plug in my flat iron right here and then like the bathroom's like just right there so that's kind of how I've been doing it lately um so coming over here hang towels here after I take a shower got the that toilet over here in the cut I got um cleaning stuff now this is the best part over here in the cut I have all this storage so under here I can put dirty clothes I have a little mini trash fits perfectly um tissue paper and feminine products I keep towels and washcloths over here um, my hair stuff goes over here and then I can store like lotion and stuff like that. So this is like super convenient considering the space that I am working with. This is my whole bathroom guys. It's not really a bad size and you know that's just the door. This is the view that you get from the bathroom into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. 